Alex Kidd. Um, Alex Kidd of Miracle World. Um, one game I absolutely loved when I was a child when I had my Sega Mega Drive. And in terms of when I actually last played this game, um, it would be about 2001, maybe even starting the millennium, I may be wrong. But this game for me, I loved. I would just play it. Because the great thing about it was you didn't have to have a cartridge for it. You just had to have the Sega Mega Drive on and it would play away for you. And that's why I loved it. So it, it saves, if, you, if you're not really sure what to play, then you could say, oh, I'll just go. That game for me just kind of filled up time for me in a sense. It was not also because of that. The actual game itself I actually really enjoyed. Because of the format, well not format, but how it was done. And when I was recording this, when I actually thought I'm going to replay, I'm going to play this for the first time in a long time. When I actually done the recording, I spent a good 45 minutes, um, maybe even less than that, I'm not sure. And I would only get, I was only getting either just the first couple levels done, or where the motor, where um, your first boss is, that is as far as I was getting. And it wasn't annoying me, it was like I thought, no matter how much when I was younger, I, would, I could complete the game quite easily. Here, I was not doing it as well. Not this, but not played the game for a long time, that's understandable. But it was simple mistakes I was making. It's like, if there was a bad guy coming towards me, then I was not punching him or I was jumping into him and I was like, or walking in, or I was like, I was making simple mistakes, getting killed, and then they get game over. It was just laughable, really, but that was just, just you just get to learn how to play the game again, basically. And I uh, really like this entire playthrough of when I was doing it. I thought, the way I was playing, I thought, I've really got a good chance here of actually completing the game. Because the bosses for me, the boss fights for me are just hilarious. Because do not paper scissors. And when I was younger, I used to have a sheet of paper, or it was my dad or my mum, whoever, whoever was in, cousins, whoever. And we would have a sheet of paper ready, and we would actually note down the order of the boss. So if the first one was maybe a um, hand, like rock paper, like the paper or the rock, you would note the rock down saying that's what the boss did first and second. So you would note down the order. And what you would pick up is, as you were playing the game, that the order was either the same or it was different. Just very, very slightly. And what you would always be aware of is you would just play about with going quickly through or just going to the tune of the game. That's what I love doing, you go to the tune if you think you, what, you just muck about with the rock, paper, scissors and just do the tune with what the music is. And it was just funny. It gives you a bit of enjoyment of a bit of a comedy feel to it while taking up seriousness and having a boss fight. It was a good way to do a boss fight really and I quite enjoyed it that way. And basically, um, the first boss fight, I can't remember, Stonehead I think it was, um, I can't even remember now, my mind went blank. And he was, he's, I get, I get lucky I think. I think, what was it, I get two draw, two ties and I, I won it twice, two eight, three. So it took me four goals. But I, I think the first time I did it, I got absolutely trounced two nil. Then I think the second time was two one to him. And then I think, this was, this was I think third time lucky against him when I won two nil. Well, four nil him. 2 0 from 4 if you want to you call it, whatever you wish to call it. But it was just absolutely hilarious. And as you see with the game predominantly, there's a lot of mystery boxes. And the mystery boxes are really difficult because you find you'll get rings. The rings are, hand, are useful, yes. But you have that. You'll sometimes get lies, or you'll sometimes even get the. Um, I actually can't remember what you call them, but they're like the ghouls, the, the grey ghosts, what you wish to call them, that can kill you in an instant. 
But if you have like the stick, I'm trying to, I think you get about quite a fair bit into the game. That you get their stick and it protects you. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of places in this game that I would say in modern games that these boundaries aren't explored in because with Alex Kidd they're in I would say the I think what's it called again? It's where your second boss fight is with the like Stonehead and Scissors head, what was named up. Mine's went blank, sorry, guys. Um, scissors head. You've got where there's like a couple boxes, or not, not a couple boxes, a compass. I think it's a compass, I might be wrong. And it's where the compass is. And the compass for me is in a very, very difficult position. Because it's not in an easy predicament. As, as if you can get it, you you're not only going to complete the level, pro, um, not just complete the level, but you're in a difficult position. And it's not easy. It's like the vehicles for me in this game are really fun to use. But um, with the helicopter, especially, you find I make a meal of it. Because I make a meal of it with the helicopter and I end up in the water. And I'm, I'm not sure what level you wish to call it, but I make an absolute pig zero of it. And I'm kind of in a position where I'm saying to myself, I'm actually in a bit of problems here. And I'm kind of needing to sort myself out. Because I'm trying to think, it's not really like an it's like a helicopter, but it's like a helicopter with a bike. And, because you're kind of using it as a pedal, it's like a pedal helicopter. And, for me the game is difficult to play still, even to this day, because the helicopter itself is a very annoying vehicle to fly. It's just, because I, when I make the first level mistake using the helicopter, it's like my own fault. And I kind of, on several occasions, I probably get incredibly lucky. But that's what you find sometimes. You get a bit lucky and you take advantage of it. But if you've not played a game for, say, 10, 15 years, what do you expect? You're not going to remember the controls off by heart. You're just going to play it the best you can. This, and like, when you come up to mystery boxes, you see yourself. Is it really worth going for? Is it really worth going for? As tempting as some of them may be, you say to yourself, could I go for it on the premise that it's, it's going to be either useful for me or is it a hindrance? Because you've got to think to yourself, if I get this help, this mystery box will help me. But boss fights in, in themselves are not necessarily easy. I th they have been enjoyable. No game's ever going to be amazing. Like if you're fighting like the bull, the bull for example, I remember years ago, uh, I was, I didn't even know how to first fight that boss. I was like, I didn't even know what to do. Oh, pardon me, folks. I thought it was a bit sneezier. But I thought to myself, I was running, the way I was playing this game, when I was getting further by the level, I was actually starting to run and I felt a little bit of adrenaline because I thought I was getting further than I expected. And I thought, this can't be happening. Because the I call it the volcano level, whatever you wish to call it. it, is an, it for me, it's a hard level. Because it's got a lot of areas in the game where you can easily make a mistake. And if once the first mistake's made, you're probably going to get punished because there's a lot of mystery boxes in that level and it makes you tempted to say I could go for that mystery box and, I would say, and you say to yourself, I think I can get that because when you have like the compass or star work, I'm not sure, I can't even remember what you call it that is tempting to go for, I will not deny it, I went for it over the years and I'm like, oh I will go for that
Can you see it yourself? Do I go for it? Do I not? But definitely, as the levels go on, the game gets much, much harder. And it's laughable for where I die. It is, it is laughable. It's, that's just obviously, that's basically lack of playing the game and also thinking I was doing it right. But what I'm going to do is, guys, when I next play this game, for every mystery box there is, I'm going to go, I'm going to try and go through them all, and I'm going to try and find all the hard, like all the parts in the game that are really difficult. Anything that's a mystery box, I'm going to just highlight, hopefully, to you all where. Which mystery box does which basically, and is there, is there a possibility that the mystery box changes? Because in the like, volcano level, especially, there's something like I think about eight mystery boxes, if I remember off the top of my head. And obviously, anyone that likes playing retro games would like to know where they all, what each mystery box does, then that's what I'm here to do. Because it helps everyone find out what's what. Basically, but scissors head and stone head and what the level one. I actually can't just look so paper head. I think <laughs> it'll come at me. But I would say in the second boss fight, especially I get I got lucky. Um, when you get lucky, you've done well. It's not an easy game. And it's enjoyable, Miracle World. 1984 the game came out, and, it's, and it is an enjoyable game. And I always thought over the years that was just a bit of cake he was eating. Probably still is cake, for all I know. The forest level, as I call it. So much money I had, and I still. The Playboy with his motorbike. Playboy with his motorbike, and his fancy stick. Doesn't work out. Didn't work out. I thought, I'll take it easy, take it easy, and crash. Bang, dead. What do I do? What do I do? What do? I do? It's like, come on. It's like an idiot. Yes, folks. So, forest level. Sadly died in. End of an era from what a pity. Alex Kidd. Hope you've enjoyed that, folks. And it was a rubbish way to die, but that's what happens when you absolutely fail at the game in the end. After doing so well, you actually fail in the end, making an absolute pellet of yourself. Take care folks, I'll let you enjoy the rest of this remainder of the clip, and enjoy future Let's Plays when they come out.